and we are back. Is this three or four? I think we're in part four. That was not, he actually, that might have bumped where he can play this, this combo. It's real close. He's looking to see if he can slide it past the eight ball into the corner pocket. Very close. Carom, carom into the eight ball on this one? Huh? Do you carom into the eight ball on this one? On this one? Uh, I think so. It's more easier. A little half grin, uh, mm. I got lucky grin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little uh, chamba. That's a typo, folks. <laughs> it's going to be 15 to 13. Edgy is up in a race to 25. No, race to 25. Rodney got unlucky with that, uh, the 8 and 7 where they tied up, mm -hmm. so he didn't get the out. will pay 10 ball. Is it 10 ball?
14 to 13. Edgy is up. Yeah. That was an unfortunate combo, and then, uh, but a nice, nice carom by Rodney to take that game. That was not a good leave. He hooked himself. Yeah, four and a quarter is the number that we got. Oh, no rail on the two ball, wow. Well, the breaks uh, were working for Rodney earlier. He had practiced them. He looked really confident playing with them. But what happened was the um, temperature has changed. The humidity has changed throughout the evening. It's a little warmer now. We don't have the rain going outside. And so I don't think that uh, he's adjusted to that quite yet. You don't have any shot. You play is safe. What to do is play safe. That was his on only option. Yeah, PWD isn't. Uh, wasn't that the one where Corey came back and and double dipped John Moore in the finals for the eight? Was that the eight ball event? It was an exciting, exciting tournament up in Chinook. Tucked him in pretty good right there. Mm. Nice hit. Wow. Nice shot right there. Yes. It is a nice shot. to get our entries in early for the Chinook wins next year if they're going to pay 20000 for the <laughs> for first. <laughs> well, Edgy didn't seem to mind the slower nice table. Shot. Yeah. yeah. When you hit a ball where you want to hit it, and uh, and you get a little lucky from it, I think that's that's a nice shot.
16 to 14, Edgy Geronimo over Rodney Morris in a race to 25. Yeah, rock <laughs> the Rocket is well known for his, his uh, speedy rhythm when he plays, so that's, that's his natural speed. Jimmy Mattia would be great. He's funny. <laughs> A lot of great stories. Very entertaining. Strike by Edgy. No shot. You're not being very talkative, Rolando. You got any stories to share? Anything going on? <laughs> You're quiet over there. Yeah. I'm, I'm so here watching their shot. It has been a long night so far. We started a little bit after seven. Um, the race is to 25. <coughs> so both players are having to combat the fact that they've been playing for over three hours. Mm -hmm. Can't tell. Do you think he can see it? Mm -hmm. Can he see the two ball? Yes. I don't think he got a problem on this. It's close. Uh -oh. Ooh, ran out of gas. Right what a nice shot. He's headed right to that pocket. He yeah. got a nice. <laughs> 
little lucky there. A little bit short. Yeah. A little bit short. Not pretty. It's frozen, no? I think he tried to go around, but uh, unfortunately he ran into it. Is he straight into the side? He tried to get it under the six to play safe, but uh, didn't quite get there. So Rodney's got a whole ball to work with. He will try to play safe on the shot, but I don't think he can. He can hook him. The table really slowed down on him. Not, not a good shot. Well, he has been struggling with shape, but uh, he got back in the line on that. And it should just be a duck, duck, goose from here. Rolando, thank you for sitting in with thank us. You too, thank you. And uh, Box will be back. <laughs> We've got a score of 17 to 14. Edgy over Rodney Morris going to 25. Wait a minute. All right, Cass, this is Box. I'm back. At the special request of my friend Brooke, Polly Purebred, <laughs> I heard a hollering, "Help! Help! Help!" 
All right, it Cass. got quiet too much. I know. All right, Cass, let's do this again. Special request. What has taken place since I've been gone? It is 17 <clears throat> to 14. So Edgy has built up his biggest lead of the night with three. He might be corner hooked right there. Well, he can push out. Jerry, what up with your dog? My boy is back in the house, son. I was at home, had my slippers on and my pajamas and received a call. Uh, it was a flash up in the sky like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, Jared calling out Carlo Beato for? What's that about? Everybody wants to see a good game. What up, Dennis? This thing here is taking on an entirely different type of atmosphere here now. Uh, I stepped across the street and grabbed me a burger. And since I've gotten back, they must have a very nice mixture of Remy and Martin in the place. Because <laughs> it is going around. It's flowing. That's, that's I, undercover. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, hey. Kenny Koo. Mr. Koo, how you doing? And uh, everybody I look around now has one of them little cute, fancy glasses in their hand. I was hoping for a little styrofoam. But <laughs> <laughs> I see some kind of red cups. I see some crystal glasses. Rodney just dogged the ball in the, set in the side pocket. Looks like Edgy should get out from right here. Edgy shouldn't have a problem at all right here. think Rodney's given up, but if you guys have heard me talk about before, when you play in a long race like this and the lady sitting next to me can, I'm sure, uh, identify what I'm getting ready to say, you got to take in some fluid, man. You got to take in some energy, man. You have, you have Rodney, to take in energy and you have to take, you have to stay, He, I think he's trying to stay emotionally uh, calm, like just keep keep it the same but you're right he needs to be you gotta put taking something in, in. Some stuff. that's yeah. right i think he's had one glass of water that's it but yeah we got edgy help over here having some gatorade trying to keep edgy's keep eating candy bars and they eating chicken gum. all kind of he's stuff yeah guys. the gum a lot of times i don't know if people realize how much depending on what kind of it is and how much sugar is in it but just the chewing like this the, it, it can help Helps you, you wake up a little bit that's right just, And I think that at 17 now, that Edgy is starting to see the finish line. Whereas before it was just a, kind of an endurance thing, and now he's starting to see the end of it. When we were on the mic earlier, we both were commenting about... <laughs> we, were both, we were both commenting about the distance that you got to have. Edgy is putting at a distance in between him and Rodney now. I agree, I agree. And he's given that big cushion. That's right. I just, I just have to say this is funny to me. They, they just yelled out, they yelled out, sexy mo. <laughs> that's the Remy Martin. That's awesome. That's yeah. the Remy Martin. But anyway. Jared, I'm with you, by the way. I'm normally a fireball girl myself, but, you know, whatever's handy. Um, Check out kamuibrand.com if you're looking for chalks and gloves and, yeah, we're going to have exciting things, the Gator Grip. We are, uh, it's 5,800, and they are racing to 25, 5,800 a man. 
<coughs> oh, I'm sorry. It just went to 18-14. Got a good little kiss off of that eight ball. DeShane has beaten Edgy um, in the uh, American rotation back at Derby in January. Right now, that distance that we was talking about earlier was the three games that we talked about earlier. Now, 18 to 14, that's that four-game cushion. There it comes, yeah. And here it comes, and that is where you got the titty. If he puts this game in his pocket, it's going to create a different type of atmosphere on that table because Rodney's going to go from playing to win to playing to, play to catch up to catch up and to stop him from winning. Yeah, it's a so different different rhythm. That's right. Yes. This kid got to relax and his people got to remember that they can take him out of the game by running their mouth. You know, that's a, a lot of times I've watched this, they get so excited when they start to put a little distance between them and the other player that they rush it. There's still a long way to go. There's eight games, There's seven games, seven games he has to win in order a to win this. There's a lot of pool to play. Yeah. They can take him out of this game. <laughs> they got to be real careful not to take this kid out the game. I, I agree. They get they get ahead. They start talking. People get all happy, and it it will not take a huge swing to get Rodney back in because it really is. Edgy's been getting a lot of the rolls his way, and, and Rodney hasn't. So all it would take is just a little swing to put Rodney right back in the hunt. Um, Edgy seems to be concerned about this. Uh, yeah, he, rail to rail. Rail to rail. Can beat Co. Ball must go underneath the 10 ball, huh? Mm -hmm. It's going to have to be because that's exactly where he played it. Jesus Christ. Nice There's that five game cushion. There's that five game cushion. 19 14. I'm, I'm telling you though, but as we're watching, have you seen anybody do anything really great? It's just kind of collect, like, just collecting off the other people messing up a little bit. Well, you know what happens is, it's a lot of things taking place in this room, in the atmosphere, the energy. And, yeah. and, and this is where I agree. you hear teams talk about the sixth man or the, uh, or the playing at home, the energy that they get at home. Yeah. That's, that's what we're hearing is the energy that that Edgy's getting from at home. In the beginning, you had a few people, yourself, pull, pulling for Rodney. There's no energy here for him to grab. Where's the energy? He's an, he, he doesn't have a contingency. You got a hundred people there's, here. There's eight. a few people here, but they're not um, comfortable enough in the room to really stand up and show support. So he can't get no energy from him. He's, you know what I mean? He's not able to pick up no energy. Oh, I from agree. The I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. You know, right now we can look to our right. We can see 40 people, and all them people to our right are pulling for edgy. Everyone. Absolutely. And the the people that are pulling for Rodney, just like I said, they aren't comfortable enough really to show that. They're everybody's being kind of quiet, a little dry. Not like you're saying. There's not a lot of enthusiasm for him to draw from. Um, I think both cats want to win equal, but I think right now, because of the energy in the room, the climate. 
the way the table is rolling, Rodney's having a harder time and making the adjustments. Edgy might want it a little bit more right now because he is leaving tomorrow. Well, Edgy's down in the hole, too. Yeah, that's what I mean, so. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right, CT. I was just trying to get Rolando to speak with me and talk with me. And it's difficult when you don't have anybody given to take from, you know. Uh, not to choose sides, but uh, I'm sure you guys heard me say earlier on the mic, I love it when she's sitting next to me because she keeps me grounded. Because <laughs> I, I allow the lady to do what the lady does, you know what I mean? It keeps me grounded. Because if she wasn't here, you know me, I'd be all over the place. I'll be all up in San Francisco somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we work B and B for P O V. That, that's, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, if you think Rodney don't want this, he he's, wants he's it. pushing real hard yeah, right now. 